Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Orvi3 and WO bringing you another Call of Duty gameplay. This time we have some Search and Destroy on Bakara. And uh, Search and Destroy, you guys probably know it, I, I'm sure I've mentioned it before. Out of all the game types on Modern Warfare 3, or Call of Duty, I should say, uh, I, I like a ton of them. Uh, object, objective gameplays are my favorites. And uh, if I had to pick one that I would say that I am I'm better at than... Any of the other ones, I mean, just for myself, not that I'm better than, than you or someone else at, but the ones that I am, I feel like I'm the most competent at is, uh, is search. I have no idea why. Uh, <laughs> I just, I usually do well at search. And it's one of the ones that I have the most fun playing. Um, and I don't really know why. I really, I wish I, I had more, a better idea of why I'm, I'm do better in these games than I do some of the others. But, uh, there's a lot that goes into search. It's a lot more of a, a thinking man's game, I think, than than like Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch, you can really you can just run out and start blasting, and and you can get a good game. Uh, you know, maybe sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. But if you just run head first like nuts and, and don't check corners and and think about objective in search, you're probably not going to win. <laughs> uh, so I, I like that. I like that. I can uh, I can outthink my opponent sometimes in search, make you know moves on the map that maybe don't even directly impact an opponent, but can sometimes mean that I that I win that match uh, or that round. And, and that's what I really like about search. It uh, takes a lot of thinking. Uh, you can see I, I hang, hang, I hanged, I hung. I don't even know. Maybe it is hanged. I stayed back there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> when we spawn instead of running right out uh this was in a mosh pit so i didn't have a class set up for search uh and i have played very little search on modern warfare 3 which uh which is weird but so i, I didn't really know the map didn't know how the enemy was gonna go so i i stayed back <laughs> to begin with uh usually as you guys know if you watch any of my other search videos i like to rush plant uh for me i, I just feel like that catches the enemy off guard a little more most times and it also, if I can get the plant, uh, if I don't die, then I have more teammates up and alive to keep that bomb planted. Nice and uh, it doesn't always work, but when it does work, um, it, I, it usually works well. If I get that plant down quickly, not often do they you know, defuse it. Uh, but if you have a different route, if you have a different uh, way that you like to to play if you like to hang back till there's only one guy left or something like that uh leave it in the comment section i love hearing new strategies always like to, to listen to what other people think uh that's the only way to get better so that's just how i like to play um i almost screw us up on this round right here i usually like to to vary my routes on search at least I, i'll either change you know route two or three I'll, I'll go to one of the other bombs most of the time unless there's a map where I just absolutely know that one bomb is easier to get than the others. Uh, and like I said, on this map, I, I really didn't know. And it, it almost cost us, because I took us I took us over here to A this time, and as you can see, my, my whole team dies almost. I think I have one guy left at this time, and he was the one guy on our team that didn't have a mic. Uh, so so I, I was pretty much screwed here, I thought. Um, all the way down, I wasn't really sure how many people were left. I think I just checked the score back there, but... Uh, at the time I didn't. I get super lucky right here. There is no reason I should have killed you, and there is no reason that I should have killed you. <laughs> but uh, that guy was trying to quick scope, so that helped me out quite a bit. Thank you there, buddy. I'm glad that you didn't get your montage down that time. Uh, don't quick scope. <laughs> uh, nah, I don't care. I'm not gonna say that. Play how play how you have fun. <laughs> but uh, quick scoping in search is not the best way to get a good game. I will say that. Um, anyways, that's really the only reason I killed those two guys. Th they both had to jump on me. One thing that does help a ton in search, and you saw me do it in the first round, may have been the reason that I killed those guys. It's been a while since I played this, uh, since I actually played in this game, so I'm not sure if I if I really heard them or not, but the what I was doing in the first round and what I think I did right there is sound horn. And uh, it can be a super effective way uh, to play Call of Duty, especially in search. 
Um, and, and you really have to have a headset to do it very well. You can do it with your TV if you turn it up loud enough, but uh, I don't know a lot of places where you can do that. I used, uh, I used Turtle Beach X41s for a long time, and I, I really, really liked them. I recently got some Astro A40s. Uh, I've been liking them as well. One thing that's really weird for me, though, a, a lot of people said that, uh, well, like, I'll give you this as an example. When Black Ops was out, people were saying that headsets were almost useless, like they couldn't hear anybody in Black Ops. But Modern Warfare 2 was perfect on sound. I never really could hear people very well on Modern Warfare 2, and in Black Ops... I could hear everything. Uh, that's the main reason that I got a headset was because of the difference. I, I played with one on Modern Warfare 2 and didn't really hear it, so I, I wasn't going to mess with it. And then Black Ops, I, I could hear the difference. So when this game came out, it was back to almost how I felt with Modern Warfare 2. I have a lot more trouble hearing people in this game than I did Black Ops. So I don't know if I just have my settings weird. I probably do. Probably just need to change my headset up a little bit, but I can still do it, just not as well. Um, for me, but I think that I'm the minority there. I think most people are saying they can hear people a lot better in this. So, it, either way, uh, it, it's a super effective way to play this game and this game type. Uh, you know, people make all kinds of noises on you know concrete, wood. Uh, when you're flipping open the briefcase to defuse the bomb, that makes a noise. So, you know, it's very very helpful. Uh, it's almost like having a portable radar. It's almost like having a little mini UAV. Um, until someone uses dead silence, and then it will scare the crap out of you. Ah, excuse me, sorry, I had to take a drink there. Um, but yeah, when when somebody has dead silence and comes up behind you and shoots you, you will jump out of your chair because you're not going to be ready for it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, the, the great thing about Surge is the adrenaline. Like right now, I know there's a guy left. I have no clue where he is. So I had to I crouched walk all the way from there so I wouldn't make any noise because he really could have been in a hundred different places right here. Almost died by that claymore. <laughs> there's just, there's so many things going on that you have to think and, and compute quickly uh, to make everything go right. Another thing that helps in a ton, a huge amount, is uh, is your teammates. If you have a good team that will communicate with you, uh, it's the game's going to be so much easier for you. Like that time, I don't know if you guys were watching the top left corner, uh, that whole round, once I got it planted, Random was basically talking to me the whole time. He was saying, uh, guy left chopper, a guy just left chopper, I got one down over here by long hallway, things like that. Um, any kind of call-outs are great, as long as they're, you know, they're meaningful and you're trying to help. It, and, like I said, play how you have fun. If you're playing Call of Duty to talk to your friends, I understand that completely. That's about the main reason that I play it. Uh, but when you're in search, if you're trying to be serious, you need to keep the regular talking, you know, oh, how was your day type stuff to a minimum because people are trying to hear and, and it's a huge deal um now again like if you're just playing to have fun have fun don't worry about that but if you are tr trying to be serious on search then it, you know it needs to be not a whole lot of talking mainly call outs what can i do where are you going that type of thing and uh, your call outs they don't have to be like the standard every day this is what game battles says call outs as long as you all know what you're talking about uh, I don't know most of the game battle callouts for, uh, for like Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops I did just because that's where I really got it, started getting into it. But uh, me and my friends, we're the only people we play with, and uh, and they know like where I'm looking right now. That long area down the left side of the map, I call that long hallway. We all do. We know what it means. <laughs> uh, I've heard a lot of people call the right side of this map long hallway. So you can see how it would get screwed up if I was trying to play with someone else. Um, so just know who you're playing with, know what you're talking about, uh, have some, some things figured out because if you do try and, you know, if you're trying to say, Oh, there's a guy in this, in the building over there, this is modern warfare three. There's lots of buildings <laughs> and not everybody is going to see where you died on the mini map. That's one thing you can do. Also, if there's only two of you left, I know exactly where the enemy is right now. If random dies, I know where they are, but, uh, not everyone will pick that up. Not everyone can see that. Anyways, I uh, hope these were some good tips. I uh, hope you liked the video. hope it was interesting for you. It was a flawless search. Three plants. Uh, so I hope that was entertaining enough for you guys. Let me know if you want to see more search, more objective gameplay. Uh, if you want to see more TDM type stuff, I, I can do whatever. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will catch you guys next time.